Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will going to create this beautiful animation and it resembles with a planet and some satellites are revolving around this planet so this is a very useful kind of animation and here is another variation where i have used it to create an objective slide so we can use it to create any slide which uh, talks about things revolving around each other or attached to each other like processes or workflows so let's start so the very first step is to adjust the background so how are you gonna adjust the background and it's our first step that is to fill the gradient so as you know it's pretty easy to fill the gradient there are two gradient stops one on one stop I have filled this dark blue color and on the other gradient stop we will fill slightly different variation of blue or much darker blue like this so i've changed the gradient type to radial to give a very nice effect so i'm adjusting the colors here you should also do the same keep on trying experimenting keep on adjusting the sliders so that you can get uh, get the best design best uh, color now we have inserted this circle and we will create it to showcase the planet for that we have to fill gradient color so that it looks like a sphere and I have shifted the button towards purple color and on the second gradient stop let's move it towards blue or okay let's keep it blue now you can see that it now looks like a sphere so there is no set rule to create a sphere you just have to adjust the gradient and when you will see that it looks like a sphere you just have to stop there so it's really easy and fun to do it that i mean it's fun at the same time so i am still adjusting the background so that the light falls perfectly how about keeping it in the center it also looks good so I have changed the radial gradient to highlight it from the center now you can see there is some background light which is behind this sphere and it really makes it look awesome So I have slightly increased the lightness of the purple color of the gradient of the sphere so that it looks more vibrant. Now what we will do is we will duplicate this sphere and fill a pattern. Now pattern looks really awesome and we have to keep it of the same color as we have filled in the background so we have adjusted this grid based pattern and go to effects option and apply the soft edges so and place it above this sphere now our planet has some texture here so it gives it a texture kind of look and feel so these small element elements make any design look good so you have to be more imaginative here you have to think out of the box to create different things now insert a square remove its outline and we will try to fill a nice gradient color into it now let's increase its depth 
basically we want to make it 3d so we'll choose the 3d rotation angle and increase its depth so that it looks like a cuboid now you can see it looks like a cuboid or cube we have to further increase its size so now it is looking really nice change the light angle and place it like here so we have to create five to six such cubes and we will place it around this sphere so that it gives a look and feel of a solar system or some kind of i mean planet so we will uh, change their sizes every cube will have a different size so i'm adjusting the gradients here so that light looks perfect you just have to take care of the light as well how the light is falling on all these objects there should be some kind of sense or similarity between the light that is falling on every element so i'm adjusting these objects and i have changed their material to metallic and also changed the light angle for all these objects material is metallic material metallic material gives a very realistic kind of effect in powerpoint you should try that select any shape go to effects option and then choose the metallic material so now you can see we have placed four such objects and we have to make it a cube currently it looks like a cuboid it is quite big i guess i have to make it small so i'm just playing with the sliders and options here I hope you are not getting confused and it is fun as well when you will try there will be a variation a different variation and you will create your own version of this slide which will be slightly different than what I have created by, uh, by this way you will also learn how to apply different variations in colors, angles, shape designs. So I placed these different objects. We will place some above this sphere and we will send some of these cubes towards the back of the sphere. So we have slightly reduced the size of this box. So I'm taking some time here to design these boxes. I'm also feeling very lazy today, so that's why. Even my voice is also low today. Now you can see it looks like a 3D now, a very 3D kind of scenario here. And some random objects around a planet. So this really looks really I mean really nice and we can use it for variety of presentation slides now comes the magic part the animation animation on this is quite complex uh, I, I will try to make it simple for you but I'm not sure if you will be able to understand but if you will try you I'm sure you will be able to complete it so select a uh, few of these cubes and apply animation motion path and let's pick this arc up animation okay let's try this so in the animation pane 
start with previous increase the duration to at least 9 to 10 seconds add delay of 0.25 currently the duration is same on all these three rectangles shapes so we have changed it so we have changed the duration of all these cubes now select the remaining cubes and apply arc down animation start with previous apply different durations on all the four cubes so we are changing the duration on all these cubes some has around six seconds some has eight seconds some has ten seconds now we have to reverse the path on few cubes because all are traveling in us towards the same direction towards the right so we want to reverse the direction of few cubes so some are traveling towards the left and some are traveling towards the right this will make it look more realistic so as we have reversed the path now go to if we first have to once we have reversed the path we have to change the starting node for that drag the path and now you can see the cube is traveling towards the left reverse the path and drag the path towards the ending point so that it is placed over the cube the ending point should be on the cube like this this applies to all the cubes on which we have reversed the paths because on these paths there is one starting point and there is one ending point now select all the cubes and select this repeat option so that the animation will repeat itself and it will run in the loop but there is an issue like cubes start again from the starting point for that we will apply this auto reverse now you'll see the magic now the animation is playing very nicely so isn't it look looking beautiful so now we have created the objects around this planet but now we will create a small satellite which will revolve around this planet in a circular motion for that we have duplicated this planet only and we will slightly change its color uh, but But the color should be slightly different from this planet but you have to ensure that the light is falling in sync with the other objects on this slide like there is a darkness towards the left on all these items and the right side of all these items are well lit and there is light falling on these elements on the right side so now let's select the circular animation for this satellite and let's draw it like this around the planet and place it like this now place the satellite here ensure that the starting point of this circular motion is on the satellite the satellite sphere because animation starts from the starting point now select this option and change the repeat also remove these sliders towards the left 
now you can see a very nice and slow and beautiful animation so this is the end of the our end of our video i hope you like this new concept this latest concept and please subscribe to our channel to support our work hit the like button also hit the bell icon share our work comments and do whatever you can also learn from our videos and also you can download the template from the link given in the video description this is another variation that i have created about objective slide so i i hope you'll like it bye bye peace keep watching and enjoy this beautiful animation